Hello, and welcome back for our last match of Grixis and Vintage. Uh, I have been surprised by how much I like this Mana Train deck, I'll be honest. Uh, I did not expect to like it as much as I do. Um, it's got a lot of power, it's got a better long game than the Bug deck, which, like, maybe I just know how to play toward more instinctively, but it just feels better for being the same sort of Snapcaster Dark Confidant deck. Um, and Mana Drain definitely feels better than having Wasteland, I will tell you that. Especially when, like, there are just a ton of lands in Vintage that make more than one mana, Wasteland just feels so much worse. Um, like, unless you're taxing them in some other way, and, like, Workshop into, you know, Sphere is basically the days of the format, so, like, it makes sense that in that context... Wasteland would be best in a workshop deck uh, rather than a deck that is like trying to cast spell pierce but not days like actual days so anyway I digress uh, we have like an iffy hand but it's on the play and by iffy I mean we have turn one dark confidant with mystical for force of will on our second upkeep if we so desire but two off color moxen never like Two, the two worst Moxen in our deck, to be real, uh, aren't exactly the place that I would love to start. However, uh, we do have Snapcaster Mage, so... Snapcaster Mage and Dark Confidant, so... We're certainly going to be able to put this to good use. Doesn't really matter which one we tap, I don't think. Oh, getting oathed. Got oathed. Well, not yet, but getting oathed. Got oathed. That's cute. I don't think that there's a card that the, we could have mystical for there because, like, it would have to be colorless. If this were vampiric, then we could get needle and needle gristle brand, but it's not. So I think we're just spinning top and hoping for needle in the top three. We didn't find it, but we do have a land. Which is actually fairly important, uh, given our blue source situation. So they're going to get their Gristle brand. Yep. Chris Brandon. Like, if they can kill us without Crystal Brand, I would assume that drawing 14 and trying to do so would be, like, the dominant strategy here. We basically have two counters, no matter how you slice it. That's our first one. I guess we sort of have to mystical here. Like, they've just got to be sitting on a zillion counter spells, so it doesn't really matter. But, like, we know that our top three cards are Brainstorm, Demonic, Sensei's Divining Top. Not in that order, but, like... Yeah. 
So if we had bobbed up blue source, we could have mysticaled for tinker and tinkered into blight steel that last turn. But we didn't, so it's okay that we are going to end up having missed that line. I think we still get tinker. And hope that the second card is... They discarded Recall? Like Hercules Recall. Okay. Oh. Shockingly, our opponent has Force of Will. I mean, Orchard Mox Oath is like, that is. So I'm not too worried about having lost this game. We kept a hand without force and did not get there. Our opponent also had like their nut nut opener, so again. Not concerned. Yogmoth's will. Uh, what do you have in your graveyard? Oh, just everything? Wait, no, you actually don't have that much. Crypt, Jet, Sapphire. Recall yourself. Thought sees me. Oh, but replay Academy? No thanks. Okay. So, Needle for Gristlebrand, Cage for Gristlebrand, Flusterstorm for other stuff, Pyroblast for all of the, like, blue BS that they're doing, Dak and Bolt out, I think Blade Steel might be our best way to win. We still haven't seen Vault or Key, except for that time where we got super flooded. So I kind of just want to like kill someone with Vault Key. If they have abrupt decays, which they almost certainly do, however, it's like not great. I don't love cutting it. I also just don't know how to sideboard against Oath. So, like, forces obviously stay in. Jace can bounce Crystal Brand. Mana Drain. Better on the play, worse on the draw. We'll keep it, but reconsider. Merchant Scroll, keep. Time Walk, keep. Snapcaster Mages. Eh. I could see shaving one. A little on the expensive side. Missed up, obviously. Keep. Tutor, Flusterstorm, Brainstorm, Ancestral. Keeps. Okay, yeah. So it's just these. Oh. Well. Goulet. Turn one, Jace with Pyroblast back up, and the ability to cast Time Walk the next turn. If that isn't a winning hand, then we probably got turn one Oath. God, this is like such a vintage hand. It's great. Yeah. Brainstorm. Jesus.
basic island, lotus, your own Jace? No, sir. I went first. <laughs> Jesus, that's realistic. Yeah! All right! <laughs> Magic the Gathering! A fun trading card game for everyone. <laughs> Wherein we were supposed to keep the fetch land, but didn't, so instead of having a bob in play, we will not have a bob in play. Fortunately, I don't think it matters. I mean, it matters, but it, it doesn't. Probably just vamp for drain and uh, demonic for drain. Could just demonic for tinker. I like that better. Yeah, okay. Ha duke it. Vintage magic, ladies and gentlemen. Boom. Hooray! We took most of the turns in that game by a final count of three to two. Also, it turns out Jace into Lotus is uh, Lotus into Jace only good enough if you are on the play. Not good enough otherwise. So, given all of that, I'm like less confident in Snapcaster Mage. I think they could be Vault and Key, but like they're just so bad individually that I'd rather just play this sort of game. Also, Tinker into Blight Steel. Still just as good as you would think. So... This seems like a fairly slow and weak hand, where, like, we need to draw running lands and we're still actually not in a great position on turns one or two, because, like, our counter spells don't counter Oath of Druids and we don't, like, have a way out. So we're going to mulligan this one. And keep this one, even though, like, it's basically a five carter, but as five carters go, I would keep this. Hand just got a lot better. Also, it's kind of sick that we had like implicit counter back up there because if they force our confidant, then we cast Yogmoth's will and replay Lotus and Bob. That's sweet. Hoorah. Let's 
So we basically have to decide between second Bob or holding up a blue mana. I'm not interested in Pyroblast right now. I don't think that it does a ton of good. And I think we just have to play as aggressively as possible and commit to the board to beat their library. Like, it has to be a cost to basically stone raining yourself every turn. Well, not stone raining yourself every turn, but like tapping a land to draw a card. Oh, please don't be balanced. Do not cast balance here. Oh. Yes! Yes! I accept! Wow, that's awesome. I am an enormous fan of what just happened. Well, I guess we have to cast Will into Lotus and Brainstorm and see if we can assemble another piece of counter magic. Because, like, this isn't getting better. All right. Well. I can certainly imagine spots in which our opponent could win from starting the turn with like 16 cards in hand. I can definitely imagine that. So yeah, they basically force it for no life loss. Their time walk resolves and I assume they play Jace and unsummon Blight Steel, yeah.
So basically the way we lose is he casts Yawgmoth's Will. Which I feel like he would have cast last turn if he had it. But I could be wrong. I've been known to be wrong before. Yeah, so that's Yogmoth's will, but didn't sacrifice Lotus. One, two, three, four, five, six mana, and they already played their land from their hand. Like they get another time walk. And demonic, that's true. So they're gonna get their other Gristlebrand, yeah. And reshuffle their graveyard because of Gaia's blessing. Okay, well they're squarely winning again. Jesus, they have key vault as well. That'd be a pretty sweet way to lose. Tezzeret getting key locking us out. Oh yeah, just untapping. Okay, yeah, we're dead here. Well, on the upside, we did get to live the dream of show and telling in a Bladesteel Colossus and then attacking with it. On the downside, our opponent drew 14 cards and killed us. So, everyone wins in Vintage. Regardless, I think the deck is sweet. We definitely recommend Among Mana Drain decks. And I'll be back later this week with more.